In algebra, we are using a letter to represent any number or an unknown number. We're going to look at simplifying algebra now. So the first example says simplify a times a times a. When we have a number multiplied by itself, so if we had 5 times 5, we can write that as 5 squared. If we have 5 times 5 times 5, we can write that as 5 cubed. That works for any number. So we can say a times a times a is the same as a cubed. For the second one, we've got c times d. In algebra, we don't write a time sign. So c times d is just written as c d. We don't write the time sign, we just write them next to each other, and that means c times d. It's the same thing for 5 times e. So we don't write a time sign, we just write 5e, and that means 5 times e. And question 4, we've got 5 times f times 2 times f. So 5 times f times 2 times f. And we can do the multiplication in any order we like. So we can do the 5 times 2 first, and then multiply it by f, and then by f again. 5 times 2 is 10, and f times f is f squared. So it's 10 times f squared, which we write as 10 f squared. Okay, four for you to try here. So pause the video and give them a go. Question one, b times b times b times b is b to the power of four. Two times c times c. We can do c times c, which makes c squared. And we've got two times that. So we write that as two c squared. 5d times 6e, so 5 times d times 6 times e, we can do 5 times 6, which is 30, and we've got 30 times d times e. We don't write the time signs, so it's 30d e. And the fourth one, we've got 10f divided by 2, so 10 lots of f, 10 times f, divided by 2. So what is half of 10 lots of f? That's 5 lots of f. Let's look at adding some terms now. The first one says a plus a plus a plus a. If we've got the same number added together four times, so if we had 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5, or 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2, we can say that's the same as 4 times 5, or 4 times 2. So a plus a plus a plus a is the same as 4 times a, which we write without the time sign as 4a. Don't get 4a confused with a times a times a times a, which is a to the power of 4. So 4 lots of a is not the same as a times together 4 times. Question 2. We've got 5b plus 2b. So 5 lots of a number plus 2 lots of a number, and that will make 7 lots of a number. If you've got five of something and you add on two of the same thing, you get seven lots of it. So if B was 10, five tens, five times 10 would be 50. Two tens, two times 10 would be 20. And that makes 70. It makes seven lots of 10. So we can add together things that are the same. 
we can also take away things at the same. If you've got seven lots of C, take away one C, take away one lot of C, you have six lots of C. Again, if C was 10, seven tens, 70, take away a 10 is 60. So seven C, take away one C is six C. Okay, three for you to try. So pause the video and give them a go. The first one, M plus M plus M is the same as three times M, which we write as three M. Nine N's plus two N's, nine of something plus two of something makes 11 of something. And 8p take away 5p, 8 of something take away 5 of something is 3 of something. We have another set of examples here. We can only add together things that are the same. So the first question says 7a plus 2b. a and b are different numbers. So 7 lots of a and two lots of B cannot be simplified. That's already its simplest form. So you cannot add together A's and B's. They're different things. So if we had seven lots of five and two lots of 10, we can't add that together to say we've got nine lots of five and 10. We've just got seven lots of five and two lots of 10. There's nothing we can do to simplify it. Question two. So we've got G terms and H terms. So we can collect G terms together. So we've got 5G and a positive 2G. And we've got a positive 3H and a positive 7H. So the G terms, we've got 5 plus 2. So 5 of something plus 2 of something makes 7 of something. And 3Hs plus 7Hs 3 plus 7 is 10, so 3 H's plus 7 H's makes 10 H's. Question 3. We've got 4V and a negative 3V. So we're always looking at the sign in front of the term. So we've got a 4V and a negative 3V. And we've got a 6W and a negative 9W. So for our V terms, 4V take away 3V, 4V take away 3V is 1V. We don't write 1V, we just write that as V. V means 1V. And the W terms, we've got 6 take away 9. 6 take away 9. So 6 down 9 goes to negative 3, negative 3 W's, 6 take away 9 is negative 3, so 6 W take away 9 W is negative 3 W. So we write that as V take away 3 W. For question 4, we've got D squared terms and D terms. So D and D squared are not the same number. They're different numbers, so we cannot add them together. You can only add together things that are the same. So for our d squared terms, we've got 14 plus 5, which is 19. So we've got 19 d squareds. And for our d terms, we've got negative 4 take away 2. Negative 4 take away 2 is negative 6. So we can write take away 6d. Okay, 4 for you to try. So pause the video and give them a go. For the first one we have m terms and we have n terms. So we've got for m, we've got 5m's plus 1m, m by itself just means we've got one of it. So 5m plus 1m is 6m. And for n's, 2n's 
plus 3n's is 5n's. Question 2. We've got p terms and r terms. So 8p plus 7p, that's 15p. And 4r, take away 1r, is 3r. It's positive 3r. Question 3, we've got t terms and s terms. We're always taking the sign from in front of the term. So we've got 4t, take away 70. 4 take away 7 is negative 3. So we've got negative 3 t's. And we've got negative 6s. Take away 1s. So negative 6 take away 1 is negative 7. So we've got negative 3t take away 7s. And question 4, we've got a, b's. A, b's. And A's. A, B and A are different numbers. We can't add them together. We can only add together things that are the same. So for A, B's, 4 plus 6 is 10. So we've got 10 A, B's. And for A's, 3 take away 2 is 1. We don't write 1A. We can just write A. Okay, let's finish up with three questions. So give these ones a go. Question one, we've got 7a times 9b. So that's the same as 7 times a times 9 times b. We can multiply the numbers together. We can do it in any order we like. We can change the order. So 7 nines are 63. And we've got 63 times a times b. We don't write times signs in algebra. So it's 63 ab. Question two, we're collecting like terms. So adding together the things that are the same. We've got a squared terms and a terms. We can't add a squared to a's because they're different numbers. For a squareds, we've got four take away three which is 1a squared, we write that as a squared. And for our a's, we've got positive 8, take away 1, which is 7. So we've got a squared plus 7a. Question 3, we've got c terms and d terms. We're always taking the sign from in front of the term. For c's, we've got 9c, take away 5c. 9 take away 5 is 4. So 9c take away 5c is 4c. And for our d's, we've got negative 8, take away 2. Negative 8 take away 2 is negative 10. So negative 8d take away 2d is negative 10d.